So, a few of you have been asking me for my graphic settings in the set of Corsa. I did make a video on it earlier, but recently I have changed my graphics to prioritize performance and just a little much better than I put out my video. So, well, all, what I'm going to show you in this video today is completely free, you don't have to pay for anything. Um, when you open Content Manager, just head into Settings and start off with the Seto Corsa. So this is my, these are my main settings now. And um, the reason why I'm able to put them higher is because of one setting that I've disabled. And so MSAA, I put this at 2x, don't need it any higher. So, don't need it any higher, maybe you get jagged edges, but there is a way to fix that in the CSP settings. And anthroscopic filtering, I still leave this at 8x because there's not much of a difference between 16x and 8x. World details, I leave this at maximum. I just like to see stuff on track when I'm driving. Shadows resolution. This resolution makes shadows look a lot sharper, which I really like. You can use 1024 by 1024, but I use this resolution. Smoke generation, I leave it on low. I don't like too much smoke, especially in online lobbies. Can get pretty annoying. I will put my graphics presets down in the description as well. So reflections, I keep my reflection resolution at 512 by 512. Don't need it any higher, just because of the performance hit. But yeah, uh, this is a good sweet spot for me. Rendering frequency, either put it two faces per frame or static. Don't put it any, any lower than that. Rendering distance, I put it all the way up to max because um, Actually, I don't really have a reason for it. I just put it all the way up to max. Filter, I mean, I'm using pure with some custom settings. Overall quality, I leave it at maximum. Glare quality, max. Motion blur, 12. Heat shimmering, I turn that off because the performance hit is pretty big, like 2%. Sun rays, I leave that on. FXAA, I leave that on. Mirrors resolution. I use the second highest resolution. I could use max, but that is a huge performance hit. Compared to the rest of the, the ones, this looks the clearest and just has the best, gives you the best performance. High quality mirrors, I turn that on. I like to see this like track and whatnot behind me. Um, don't have a VR headset yet, so I don't touch any of these settings. Skybox reflection, I turn it up to 300%. Um, the MIPS LED bias, LED, I turn it down to negative one. Max frame latency, I just put it at auto. Now, my low end preset for people with, like what I used to have, I used to have like an Intel graphics card and stuff. I would say you should turn off MSAA if you have like a lower end system actually. And if you have like integrated graphics, I would turn off MSAA and just leave the rest of these settings. You can turn world details down to minimum, but high doesn't take away too much FPS. Shadows resolution is decent enough. I would recommend going up to this, but if you if your PC can't handle it, then you should use this resolution. Smoke generation is still on low. Reflection resolution. I actually might turn this down again if you're on like a low-end system, but the performance hit isn't all too bad with 512 by 512. Rendering frequency on static, because one face per frame is really choppy, not very smooth, so static is smooth as well. Rendering distance, I put this at 1000 meters. Filter, I still use pure. Overall quality on medium, glare quality on high. Motion burn on 6, because as you can see here, there isn't 
much difference between 12 motion blur, 12 times motion blur, and 6 times motion blur. There really isn't much difference. So I just, I recommend you use 6 times. Heat shimmering, turn that off again, sunrise on, FX AA on, mirrors resolution, turn, put it at this, turn off high quality mirrors, don't touch the oculus stuff, skybox reflection at 300% again, and LED bias at negative one. Again, all of this will be in the description. So, custom shades patch settings, I use um, the preview one, um, there is a way to get this without having to pay for it, it is in one of my previous videos of how to get rain working and set a course up. So first, general patch settings, uh, these are the things I like to run, me personally, again all of this is in the description so if you, if you don't if you don't want to spend time copying all of this or personalizing it, just go in the description. So, I use the advanced chunks optimization for my CPU and advanced. Limit always limit audio for cars. I do force calling test and use SMID related calling for tracks. I think these settings work best for me. Uh, my CPU usage doesn't spike too much and my GPU usage is relatively low. I turn on the adjust frame time to improve smoothness. I use the sleep instruction. I turn off break this FX because I'm not really looking at that. You can turn this on if you want to but I just leave it off. DGX, I mean DXGI, turn that off. Extra effects, this is a big one. I turn this one off. My, my GPU usage went down by 20% when I turned off extra effects. It was crazy. Fake shatters effects, definitely have this on. Leave all these settings on. Graphics adjustments, um, I use FSR super resolution on custom and I turn the pixel density up to 107%. Now the reason for this is without FSR, you can see all the jagged lines from the lack of like TAA and whatnot. So when you turn on FSR, it can smooth out some of those lines so that your game looks a lot better. So you can turn the pixel density up, but you can see the jagged lines a lot more. So this, these settings make it look around closer to native resolution four slow res drive drivers for other cars turn it all on anti-aliasing post-processing i think fxaa 3.11 is a lot softer like a lot better than cmaa 2.0 so i just use ultra and just copy these settings here this is the correct set of course on motion blur value at the very bottom of the graphics adjustments page. Looks pretty good. I use low settings. The density of the grass is still okay, but medium I'd say has the best net density of grass, but low can give you that higher FPS. Lighting effects, I only cast the six cars. I had to leave rear mirror quality on dynamic lights. Don't use dynamic shadows. This is such an intensive setting and you really don't need it at all. Particles effects. These are my settings for particles effects. You can copy these. Rain effects. I use low rain maps quality along with just these settings. Reflections effects. I use the stock settings, base settings. Smart mirrors, oh wait no, skid marks effects, I use 10k bits, just to keep it as low as possible. Smart mirrors, compact mirrors color format, and I extrapolate 3 frames. I do use real mirrors, but um, I also use update single reflection per frame. Just gives me a lot better FPS in first person view. Smart shadows, these are settings I use personally. You can turn up the shadow distance, but I just use 200. 
surfaces effects, I turn this on, track adjustments, trees perceiving per vertex shadows. I found that this, in some tracks, this can make the trees look better, so I just leave that on. Weather effects, I use pure. Um, and you can turn this on for better performance, but it does make some like tail lights and whatnot look a lot worse. Performance, I just turn all of this off. Don't really need it. Post processing tweaks, I use full resolution. Just makes the game look a lot better. Windscreen effects, I remove dirt completely. And those are my high performance settings. Um, for the quality settings, minimum probably 1660 Super, which is what I have. I would recommend something a bit better like a 1080 or a RX 5600 XT. But with these settings, I'd turn on extra effects and just turn everything on, just use, copy these exact settings. Um, I probably would turn off FSR with um, these settings because you don't need it to make the anti-aliasing look bad any better. Just It's basically the same settings except grass quality is on medium, lighting effects it's the same, pretty much all the same settings except for a few which make it look better. Okay, so that is all for the main like graphic settings and whatnot and now I will show you my pure settings now the free link to download pure will be in the description if not I'll put a link to where you can find it and the install guide will also be put in my description so I want you to open the post processing filter and make sure it's set to pure right click and click edit now, once you're here, click color. I want you to change it just to copy these settings. Don't change these settings just yet because it will all be in the pure config. Tone mapping. Uh, don't change these settings actually. Uh, glare. You do want to change these settings. Just copy what I have here. And that should be everything I changed in there. Now, pure config, here are the settings I changed to get my game to look a bit better. So, lights, you want to go in the light tab, scroll all the way down to you find CSP lights in below. So, light bounce to 1.9, CSP lights emissive to 2, then you go down to reflections, reflection saturation to 1.3. Reflection level to 2.2, VAO amount to 1.4, VAO track amount to 0.79, VAO dynamic exponent to 0.55. Those are the settings that work best for me. So when you go to night tab, you want to go night look, I think that's what it stands for, lowest ambient, you want to put that to 6, moonlight to 10, moon appearance to 10. Then you want to go to sky, uh, PP to PP or post processing tone mapping control and use, um, use this with zero color grading. You want to go over to shaders, sun blinding and copy these things. Sun, sun blinding iris to 1.8. Sun blinding star size to 0 0.9 and use the half resolution tweaks. That's all for my pure config settings. These are how my graphic settings look with extra effects turned on. Now on Notch Life with on Notch Life with no extra rain effects or anything unlocked frame rate getting about 60 frames per second with a hundred percent GPU usage and that is just on 
this track with no extra effects. Now, when I turn on Heavy Thunderstorm plus extra effects, my frame rate dips down to 40s. Game looks pretty good actually, but low 40s just is not worth it at all. 45, 46, 48. Now this is what I call unplayable. Game may look great, but frame rate is not. CPU usage is through the roof. 130. How is that even possible? But it's obvious that uh, you would need a higher end system than just a 1660 Super. So yeah, that's for extra effects on. Now this is what the game looks like with my high performance preset on. So immediately you'll notice that I'm up about, I can't remember the, how much FPS I had before exactly, but up about probably 50 FPS, maybe even 60. Just starting off, GPU usage is the same of course because my FPS isn't capped to my usual. But what you will see here is my frame rate much much better and when I turn on rain effects like this heavy thunderstorm you know what this game doesn't look too much different only thing that is missing are the reflections and the and the anti-aliasing, well not the anti-aliasing but the ambient inclusion so with rain on high performance settings I'm getting 40 FPS more which is an incredible improvement so just in case any of you are skeptical of these settings this is the type of performance I'm getting <laughs> 